Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be doing a vlog on the latest upcoming travel destinations 2021 part 6. So let's jump right into it. Now, according to www.standard.co.uk the following destinations are the latest upcoming travel destinations 2021. So let's fire away with number one, which is island destinations around the world with low client volumes traditionally will be first to return to the market like Maldivian islands because they have in-house or shared doctors which will once again reassure clients temperature check may become the norm for a while so wow and that's really exciting news and number two Scandinavian countries will also be trending in 2021 Scandinavia has uh, long been a draw for its cooler climate a chance to see Aurora Borealis excuse my pronunciation and for its chic approach to interiors which combined with smart handling of the COVID-19 crisis means the area could be even more of a draw in the, ne uh, the next coming years. So countries like Sweden, Finland, Norway and Iceland in particular have been trending at their own well, have been treading their own path over the COVID-19, which um, is much less severe restrictions and offer some incredible experiences. So if you go to those uh, countries, um, because they have lower COVID-19 levels, um, there are far less severe restrictions, which is, again, good news. Um, you would just have to put up with a, a cooler climate. But, again, it's great for people that like cooler climates, um, especially in the summer, um, that don't like to go anywhere too hot. So... Number three is, um, I also think people will be uh, looking to tick off some of their bucket lists to um, destination uh, destinations like New Zealand and Australia will be good contenders for this, uh, that a big trip that people may have put off in uh, recent years um, to visit far away friends and family as well as combining combining with that holiday of a lifetime feel wow will be a huge appeal to some people so people such as myself we have a family in New Zealand and we have family in America um I've been to America twice but um I haven't been to the California region where um the state where my family live um in so um I would love to go there in the future and um, again, Australia and New Zealand seem very interesting as well. Um, so, um, again, um, 
people could be again going for longer vacations the ones that are looking to uh, travel long haul and long, at long distance for a long period of time um, those destinations are ideal number four those that are looking for a short-term holiday um, and not looking for long-haul destinations Portugal and Greece uh, will be top of the list uh, and the go-to for Mediterranean breaks for the first time for short time holiday makers also the good idea and uh, for first time travelers on an aeroplane so um because they're not long haul really long haul journeys so that's really good good and i've been to both um portugal and uh, the algarve is absolutely stunning amazing and greece as well and um, really loved uh roads corfu sakinthos uh, crete was nice as well um um but again i would like to see more of greece such as athens and how and Kos, another Greek islands. Um, so yes. Um, also top in the list as well, number five. Um, destinations in the UK such as uh, Blackpool, Brighton, Scarborough, Falmouth, Tenbury. Um, that also going to be for people that want to have a staycation and either want to drive or go on a coach trip um or by train um there's lots of ways of getting to uh, those places so i would like to say thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in my next travel video which is tomorrow which is the latest travel news part two so please don't miss it and Again, everybody take care. I love you all. You all mean the, the world to me. And bye for now. Thank you. Bye.